The farm to table movement in the United States really made people concerned about what they're eating and what they're putting into their bodies. And I think for a really long time, we were a little bit more focused on the food that we're, that we're eating and the food that we're purchasing and consuming. And I think now it's also grown to encompass the wine that we're drinking as well. There aren't as many wine drinkers right now and that the wine drinking population is aging and they're not convincing, they're not attracting a younger audience. I think that the younger audience is very attracted by natural wine. Um, I think that it's a different flavor. Um, that there's been a movement towards lower alcohol, higher acid wines, wines that are more refreshing. The natural wine movement is great for the consumer because it is uh, uh, providing an alternative to the mass-produced wine that may have a lot of chemicals in it or have vineyards that are farmed with uh, you know, pesticides or chemicals that are proven to be very bad for you. So we insist that our vineyards are grown uh, minimally organically. <laughs> Once the grapes come into the winery, we, chew, we, we, we do very little to them. Uh, as you see, we step on them with our feet, uh, and then they're picked up with the forklift and dumped into a tank with gravity. So no pumping, no mechanical crushing, everything is done the way it's been done for hundreds of years. Um, so these are um, amphora. Um, they're clay vessels um, that we really love to ferment white varieties in. So we um, have been making skim fermented whites um, since 2008. We love um, the texture and aromatics that you get from the amphora. Um, and, uh, and, and it is definitely an ancient uh, method of um, holding any sort of liquid, um, but also fermenting wine. We have people who come in here all the time. They're like, I don't like natural wine. That's okay, we came to the right place. But at the same time, we have so many different wines um, and then people leave here being like, okay, I thought all natural wines tasted like kombucha. So it's like really great to be able to change people's minds. <laughs> There's not a lot of reliability from bottle to bottle in a lot of these quote unquote natural trending wines right now. Um, I don't think that you're seeing a lot of consistency. I had a sparkling natural wine um, recently and I had one bottle that was very flat and then I bought another bottle and it was very effervescent. So I don't know, my bang for the buck was a little bit at a loss there. It tastes a little bit more tart and there's more sort of acidity to it and it feels like it's dancing on your palate 
And I, I sort of describe this as a way of feeling like the wine is alive. Like it is, you're tasting something that is like this living product and it feels like the most honest expression of what that grape was like in the vineyard. That's the exciting part about natural wine.